What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Mama Man's Kitchen. Yes, I've been gone for a few days, but y'all know I've been working. Girl, your girl been working. I've been doing some things. Guess what? I'm doing a Color Purple movie, y'all. Yeah, yes, I've been doing that. But it's a lot working on music and just hitting cities near you, so make sure you check us out. But I'm happy to be back in the kitchen. Y'all see all this stuff? We about to throw down with a quick meal today. We're doing stuffed bell peppers. Mama Man way, all right? So let's get started. I got my pot with my bell peppers already boiling. We are gonna boil them whole, and then we are gonna cut the top and then take everything out. So I'm heating that up right there, that's going. I'm gonna do cabbage today with, with the stuffed bell pepper. This cornbread, I don't use rice. I use cornbread in my stuffing. So we have ground chicken, ground turkey, and we have turkey Italian sausage. This is our meats for today. And so we're gonna got that. So we have bell peppers chopped up, onions chopped up, we got cheese, we got oregano, Italian seasoning, garlic, and seasoned salt for you on here today. And then we got I already chopped up the actual cabbage. So we got that going right there. So I got everything heating up. I'm gonna put some oil in my pans. And also today, y'all, y'all see this beautiful cookware I'm using? This is from Chef Tam, a friend of mine, and it is amazing. So we got, she has a little side cookware, utensils on the side, so I'm gonna be using that as well for her. So congratulations, Chef Tam, on, on your cookware. Y'all what, Chef Tam, she won on one of the CHOP episodes. So I'm so happy she's a homegirl right here from our Dallas-Fort Worth area. So y'all go check her out, she has a restaurant here in Arlington. I'll, I'll, I'll put it at the, we'll put it at the bottom so you'll know where the restaurant is. So we got that, but if y'all wanna send me something to use, send it to me. I'll try your seasonings, I'll try your cookware, whatever you got. Tamil Man, Mama Man's Kitchen, we'll do it. So I'm heating these, heating these pans up. I had them, get, had them hot for y'all, you know, so we could get going on that. So, so when I put my meat in there, you gonna get that little sizzle. All right, so let's get going. I'm gonna put my cabbage, I'm gonna put my cabbage on. You know, cabbage don't take that long. I gotta put a little, you put a little oil. This is just your regular vegetable oil in here. Or you can use any type of oil you wanna use. And we're gonna use, put our, I'm gonna let that heat up. Nah, that ain't hot enough, let that heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, Italian sausage, and it comes in the skin, so you want to take the skin off of it. Put that in there like like that. Take that skin off. Oh, y'all hear that sizzle? And we're gonna we diced up our bell pepper and our onion real small. That's how you get the kids to eat it, right? Cause they be like, I don't like vegetables. I don't want to eat that. But we gotta get it in, y'all. All right, so we just added our chicken, actually turkey Italian sausage. We just took the skin off of that. Sit that over to the side. Got that going. We got our ground chicken right here. We just used a pound just straight out. Ground chicken and a pound of ground turkey. So I kind of mix mine up. I'm using a three meat to fix this uh, bell pepper. We got a tablespoon, teaspoon. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in both because you want both of these to be, actually I'm gonna use a teaspoon and a half on this. You know, turkey, you kind of sometimes have to add a little bit more seasoning. We're gonna use a two teaspoons of granulated garlic on both sides, on both. So you make sure you have a lot of seasoning in your meat. I'm gonna go back one more time, just a little extra. So that's two teaspoons and a half on that. So and this is one teaspoon of seasoned salt. You don't want it to be too salty because you're gonna add sauces to this. And this is a little garlic seasoning. Oh, we just, this little extra. And we're gonna add onion to that. And you can kind of use it to your discretion on your onion. I'm trying to get both of these going at the same time. Yeah. Don't be shy, onion is your flavor. Don't be shy, don't be scared. And bell pepper, you can use that to your discretion as well. 
But this is just adding color to your meal and flavor. And I like to use the light color um, bell peppers, guys, because they actually, they sweeter. I got those boiling just for a few minutes, a few more minutes, just to make them tender. So once you put it in the oven, it ain't gonna take long. We're gonna add this turkey bacon. Now you can use probably about two or three pieces, but I added it quite a bit. I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit. I'm gonna add some onion to that. Y'all hear that sizzling in there? Woo! That girl cooking up in this kitchen. Put some, that's the little flavor you're gonna add. Then we're gonna add the, add the cabbage. And then you just kind of let's stir that around and let it cook down on your cabbage. Just stop this. Cabbage don't take a long time either. Okay, so we adding a little bit more oregano here and also some bell pepper, the diced bell pepper. So I just, I like to use the light colors again because they taste sweeter. So we let that cook down. Got a nice little chopper here. You know, this is a nice little tool you can find at the grocery store to chop up your ground meat. It makes it a lot easier than actually using a spoon or like the wooden spoons, it makes it easy. All right, let's, right now we're adding some cabbage in here. It don't take long for your cabbage to cook. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold up, y'all. My lovely assistant had to get some chicken broth. That's what we, gonna, you're gonna put that on the side of your, on your cabbage. You can use any brand, any brand of chicken broth. Something fell, I don't want that to be cooking extra. Add a little chicken broth. And I would say about a cup and a half on your chicken broth. We add some more cabbage in here. Probably could have used a bigger, bigger, bigger pot. Cause I got more cabbage than what I thought. Woo! Let's add the rest of this onion in there. Put that onion in there. We're gonna add some granulated garlic. Granulated garlic. And some seasoned salt. And we add a little oil to it. This is virgin oil. Add some more flavor to that. These are bell peppers. We're actually gonna cut this off because we don't want it to get too soft. So we're gonna cut them off. We're cooking down on our, our Italian chicken sausage right here, right now. And also, look, I'm using two hands. This is ground chicken and ground turkey. Chicken is actually like dark meat, and we use the turkey, it's the white meat. So that's why you get a little bit better flavor when you use ground chicken. Okay. Woo! Y'all see me sweating, cause you know old girl is uh, going through things. But I'm just making sure this is all broke down. I don't want my bell peppers to keep cooking. So, I need one more thing for my cabbage. I put a little butter, we put some butter in it, and, <laughs> and I use oil. So I'm using like two tablespoons of butter to this. Okay. So we got that cooking down. Woo! But I'm gonna add my, the rest of my, um, that's hot. Now don't just grab that like me, cause you know, you know, I've been in the kitchen a while, my hands is pretty tough. I'm gonna add the actual, I'm gonna cut up the rest of the green, the green leaves. To me, this is the more, nurt, have more uh, nutrients in it. So I'm gonna cook that down. 
All right. We cook it now. So you see this nice cornbread sitting right here. I did that in another episode, but I'm going to put the description of actually my cornbread recipe that I use at the bottom so you'll know to add. Or you can use whatever cornbread, however you like to do it. You can do that as well on the cornbread filling. But it's my filling inside of the bell pepper versus rice, because I'm not a big fan of rice. And I'm trying to make sure that both of my meats are done, but make sure that, um, but you have to have rice of some type of filling. Some people use black beans. If you don't use meat, you can use that also into your bell pepper or whatever. You can use both of those. Now that's the thing about turkey, ground turkey and ground chicken. It cooks real fast. It cooks fast, but I like to cook it just a little bit longer, just sometimes for it to brown a little bit more because you're not used, you don't see the brown like you see in your hamburger meat. But this, anybody can do this, y'all. For my new cooks, this is an easy recipe for my new cookers who really don't like to get in the kitchen. But this is a actually pretty healthy meal for you. Cause I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna add the um, cabbage. This is gonna be our extra vegetable that we putting in there. So we're gonna let that cook down and we'll be right back. Also add a little vinegar. I add a little vinegar in my cabbage. I forgot to put that over there. That just gives it a little flavor, a little kick. All right, so we're gonna cut our meat off. And I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna add my sauces to it. I'm making sure all the little chunks is broke down. So we gonna do that. All the chunks is down. Check on this cabbage. And I'm gonna add right quick before I add this, I'm gonna add these greens. I'm gonna chop these greens up. To me, this is the more nutrients part of the cabbage. A lot of times people, when you wash it, a lot of people throw the, the top part away. But you take that top layer, you can take that top layer off because you usually kind of get a lot of d dirt in it, and but you want to wash it really good so you don't have sand or dirt inside of your leaves. So I just sliced it up real good. I'm gonna let that cook down with that to make that happen. I love some cabbage. Ooh, let me tell you, my other favorite though is mixed cabbage with greens. Mm, if you ain't never, don't knock it till you try it now. I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic on top of that since. Uh, and uh, just a little seasoned salt. And some black pepper. Okay. Cooking that down. I'm gonna stir it a little bit so the bottom. Ooh, I really could have put this in a, in a bigger pot. I want all my leaves. Remember everybody, you ain't gotta be a perfect cook. There ain't no perfect cooks around here. So we just making all this happen and we doing it at your own speed. You ain't gotta be in a hurry when you're doing this. But you kinda wanna take your time, y'all, when you're cooking. You can't cook in a hurry. Please don't cook in a hurry, because then you don't get all your flavor and your meat and everything. We wanna cook with love. That's what I do, I cook with love. All right, mixing that down. This is the kind of like the fried cabbage way with a little oil in it, because it actually cooks faster. Okay, we're gonna put the top on that. Let that cook down. Now, I'm gonna add the sauce. Mmm, the good part. I'm gonna add the sauce to the meat. Here we go. Today, and also y'all, in my sauce, I use the four cheese sauce and tomato sauce mixed together. So we put all that up in there, up in there. Woo! I'm getting happy just looking at it. So we're gonna add all that in that. 
Stir that around. Stir that in there. I'm gonna add the sausage. I'm gonna mix it all together now. The sausage with the chick ground chicken and the ground turkey. And I'm gonna add the Italian sausage to it. So that's what we're using on the inside. So we put, I'm putting a little bit more because I'm gonna add cheese to this and I'm gonna add my cornbread. So that's what's making our filling. All right, so what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna take these bell peppers out because I don't want them to go get any softer. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bell peppers out of the hot water because I don't want them to get too soft. So I'm taking those out so they can, and then I'm gonna kind of take all the, we'll have to cut the top off and take all the seeds out. Cut the top off and take all the seeds out. Now don't just stuff that with all that in there. You be like, mama man didn't tell me that. Cut the top, I'm gonna show you. But that's how you, then we have to make sure we drain all the water out of it. Cause some of them have water in there. And again, I use all the bell, I use the light color ones instead of green because to me they taste sweeter. But if you have green bell peppers, you can use green bell peppers. That don't mean you can't. That's just my preference is to use the color one, okay? So, all right. While those are cooling a little bit, I also have my oven already preheated at 350. And I gotta get a spoon so I can start tasting it. We're gonna add cheese to, gonna add cheese to our mix, our meats, our meats and sauce right now. Add a little cheese. That's just about like two little handfuls. I know, I'm a dump cook, so don't judge me. I'm a, my, I got that from my mother, so everything is not measured, but I'm trying to get it as close as possible. Like two handfuls, this is mixed a mixed Mexican cheese. Mixed Mexican cheese that I just used. Mixed Mexican cheese. I like, I just like, y'all know Mexican food is my favorite. So I use a lot of Mexican cheese. Cause to me, you get all of them. You get your cheddar, you get your Monterey, Monterey Jack. Uh-oh, we dropped it out of there, excuse me. Mm. Okay. Whoa. Y'all, we off. And we're off. Okay, so this is a cornbread. I'm gonna break this up. It's just cornbread you bake in a pan, and I just cut up slices and you just crumble it. Crumble it, and we're gonna add it. Woo! My God, today. I don't, my mouth start watering. All right, now before I stuff them and put my cornbread in there, I don't want the cornbread to get too, too soggy. So I'm gonna take the bell peppers and pull the juice and stuff off and gut them out. Remember, we're gutting them out, taking the seeds out. So I'm gonna take them and pull the water off. Be right back. So we're back. We're gonna take one, and we're just gonna cut this top off. You're gonna go as close as you can to the top, because you wanna keep as much of the pepper as you can. I'm gonna pull the water out here. And see, you just gut that out right there. You gut it out so it'll look like that. You, get it. you want to take the top off. And if you want to, to, to make it really nice and pretty, you can put your top back on. But for me, I don't put the top back on because I actually want to have, and see if it does like this, if it does like this, you just take it. Now don't take your hand in there if, it, if you can't take that, that heat. Just get you a, a little knife or something, a little knife, and you just take the middle out. You see that? Take the middle right out. Hold on, I'm getting this pan, because this is what I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in this pan right there. All right. So, I'm gonna cut the rest of these up and put the top on. Let me stir it. Let me stir this cabbage. Woo, we got so many. We got some good stuff going on today. I need to add a little bit more salt in there. See, the thing about salt, you can always add. You don't want to put too much, because you can't take away. Let me come back there. All right, I just fixed this, clean this one up. We back right now. 
I'm just cutting up another one of the bell peppers, trying to get them all straight, sit that there. I've just added just a pinch of, of sugar to the cabbage, because sometimes cabbage is so bitter, and it just gives it a, we don't want to make them sweet now. You don't want to make it sweet. You just want to give it a little, see? Just a little, a little bit, more, another flavor. Let me taste that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more garlic. Garlic is not salty for those, and if you can't use a lot of salt, garlic, granulated garlic is a good way to do it. So put it in there. And I also added, I use pepper salt vinegar, but you can use any vinegar. To me, it just gives another, another flavor. So actually, that's done. We can cut them off. We're gonna cut these up, and we're gonna stuff them. They hot, so I gotta wait today. But my, it was tender to my hand today. I guess because there's so many of them. Get the water off, take the guts out. Got that all cleaned up, cleaned out. Put them on here. Woo, this look good, y'all. Let me taste it again. I gotta put my cornbread. cornbread in. All right. This is probably about three cups of cornbread crumbs that we put in here. But we use, remember, two, one pound of turkey, one pound of chicken, ground chicken. And we also use the pack of Italian turkey sausage. So now we're just gonna fold that in there. Mmm, mmm! All right, we folding it in, we folding it in. See how that's, that's, that's coming, coming together, it's thickening up because of the cornbread? That's the same thing your rice would do. You can use rice if you want to, but I do it mama man's way and add cornbread. I'm a cornbread girl, that's country, cornbread feed. Yeah, look at me, looking like I'm looking. Look, it's looking good. Smelling good. Woo! It's gonna taste good. Look good. Smell good. Taste good. All them goods. Woo, Lord! Let me use this to, as my uh, taster. Y'all ain't playing. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't play with me now. Oh, don't play with me. Oh, this this gonna be something good. This gonna bless your soul. This gonna bless you. Oh yes. Ooh, I got happy in my heart. All right, all right. Okay, let's move this over. And I'm gonna uh, we're gonna stuff this bad boy. Woo! Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Look at that. And you just feel it. How however more you want, however much you want to feel. But I'm gonna feel mine to the brim. Woo! Filling this thing up. Let it overflow. Fill it up though. Yes. Man, this is this is a, this gonna be amazing. This is gonna be amazing. See, but it's so much feeling. And sometimes, too, if you want, you could actually take your bell pepper, guys, and you could slice it in half and open it up like that and use it. Or you can just do like I did and take the top off. But it's whatever you prefer. You cut it off the top, take the guts out, and slice it in the middle when you get ready to stuff. But if, too, if you just want to open it up, you want to be real, cut it open and then take the seeds out so it won't just fall apart. Don't take your top off. Just slice it once you boil it. Or if you don't even want to boil it and just bake it straight in the oven without boiling it, just slice it in half, take the seeds out, and then you can just still place it in whatever your, your pan is and, and, and serve it that way. So like I have a piece right here that I, I, I left over. I'm just gonna stuff him and put him over in there. Yep. Yeah. 
I'm happy in my soul right now. Let me add this in here. Whoa, yeah. We moving. All right, we got that in there. It's all stuffed. Look at that. Woo! Get this out the way. I, I really like to clean, I'm clean up as I go. So when this is in the oven, I'm gonna straighten up. But I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna, Cause basically everything is done, but we're gonna put it in the oven for a few minutes. We're gonna top it with some cheese. This is mixed cheese now, mixed Mexican cheese that we're putting on top. We'll make sure that they sitting off in there real good. Ooh wee, we put a little cheese on the inside, cornbread. And here we go. Ooh, don't that pretty? Just make sure the cheese get all the way around. We want to fall all the way down. All right. Okay, y'all, we're gonna put this in the oven and we'll be back. For zone. I'll put a sheet pan under it so it'll be easy to take out the oven. All right. So I already got the oven preheated preheated at 350. And we are gonna put it at the bottom because we don't want it to brown too fast. And we're gonna let that cook for probably about 20 minutes. All right? So while that's cooking down, we're gonna clean up. All right. Hey, it's time to take those bad boys out. Woo! All right. I put it on broth for it to get, you know, just brown the top just a little bit. Real quick, you have to watch it because it will burn. Let me close this. Cut this off. All right, we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk this over. Woo! It's exciting. So exciting. Okay, that that's kind of hot, so I'm gonna put something up under there. So the this, this marble won't crack my, my bowl. I'm gonna put this on here, move this out the way. Then we're actually gonna um, take the cabbage out, guys. So we got the bell peppers, they are nice and golden. I'm gonna plate it. So I'm gonna put this bowl to pull my cabbage over in. So, now we're gonna plate our cabbage. That. Okay, let's pour that in there. See, by even on top, it just cook real quick, real fast. Oh, man, it smells so good. Good Lord. Okay, we got cabbage right there. We got our bell peppers right here. Y'all, we got a meal. And if you want, some little extra cornbread on the side to put on the plate. But let's plate this bad boy. Woo! This is your stuffed bell pepper. Put that right there. We'll take us a little cabbage. Got y'all tur turkey in it. Look, ain't no pork in this. Ain't no pork. Cabbage on the plate. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. And then for for those for those of us who like things to look like that. Bam! Mama Man's Kitchen stuffed bell pepper. We have cabbage and a little side piece of corn. Y'all, there we go. Look at that plate. Y'all ready to eat? Woo! We about to eat. We about to taste this bad boy. It look good. Smell good. I taste the feeling already, so, but I know it's gonna taste good. I got a knife for those who, uh, you know, I can't just break down off in there, but you can just dip in there. Woo. See, it's not too much cheese. It's just a little, you know, got cheese stuffed on the inside, too. Golly, look, it don't even want me to eat it. My God, look at that. It don't even want me to eat Oh, I some cabbage. Woo! That's hot though. Mmm! Cabbage. If you want some cornbread, 
I know that sounds real good, but I got to... Y'all know what I'm missing? Hot sauce. <laughs> All right. Hey, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me in Mama Man's Kitchen. Make sure you like, subscribe. Tell somebody. You know what? I appreciate you so much. Love more. Judge less. And we'll see you next time on Mama Man's Kitchen. Woo! My God today. Y'all, y'all better cook this. This good. Mm-mm. Don't that look good? Look good. Smell good. Taste good. All of them good. Bye, y'all. I'm going to eat them. This is Tamala Man. My new project, Overcomer Deluxe, is music for the heart. So Overcomer Deluxe is available everywhere now.